The, the reason I decided to build the boat fully electric uh, is partly to prove that I could, that we don't need to be burning diesel to have a nice time on the river. We need to clean up waterways and clean up propulsion in general, and the technology is now there to fit a really good electric motor. So the boat's fully powered by the solar on top. Uh, between about March and November, it's completely self-powered. That's propulsion, it's cooking, it's heating. In fact, on a sunny day, you get much more power from the solar than the motor uses, so you can cruise indefinitely. There's no need to run the engine to charge batteries. The lithium ion likes to float in the kind of 20 to 80% charge that the solars provide. It hasn't been done very much, and as far as I'm aware, not at all with fully solar powered and a fully like AC boat running off the 48 volt pack. It has the side benefit of being very quiet and very low maintenance and very, very clean. So just as we're seeing electric vehicles become very mainstream now, uh, our, our feeling is that the electrification of the inland waterways market is going to very quickly follow. It's a, it's a really viable alternative for canal boats. Um, we've got the Water World range here, which uh, has got power levels from four kilowatts up to 15. Uh, so suitable for pretty much all of the craft on the inland waterways uh, market. All driven off super low voltage, 48 volts, so very touch safe voltages. Uh, and voltages where we can get lots of ancillary equipment for the domestic power requirements on board. So it's starting to become a, 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 very, uh, a, a very well supported uh, proposition. Um, and one of the projects that's uh, been uh, on our uh, agenda over the last few months is a completely solar powered uh, 55 foot narrowboat with George. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of a background as to what George's am ambitions are. He was looking for something that was completely fossil fuel free. His cruising range is not extensive currently so he was, uh, he was happy to, um, to forego any kind of fossil fuel charging or propulsion. And we've come up with a system for him that gives him uh, all that he requires. Uh, I think we're all conscious that as, the, uh, uh, as things progress, we're gonna see more and more charging points around the inland waterways network. So in the future, that's really going to give him an extended cruising capability by being able to hop from one charging point to another. The other alternative is to have your onboard uh, power generation with a uh, diesel generator set so you can recharge if necessary from that. So we've got lots of different ingredients that we can put together to provide a system at uh, different power levels with different cruising range capabilities more or less reliance on uh, renewable energy within the system and from the 48 volts to provide all the power on board you need for either mains equipment via an inverter or via a DC to DC converter to provide 12 or 24 volt for uh, DC equipment.